Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. You, you'll notice that you don't know what this bike is. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you right now. Boom, transition you didn't even notice. I just, I just like jumped off the bike to now. Um, this is it, this is the CB500. Um, I, look, it's, it's not anything special. It has lots of work to be done as I'll show you in a walk around somewhere about three kilometers from here, to be honest. Um, but I'm really happy with it because it allows me to, I've talked about it a lot on the channel, you know, some people might remember, some people might not, um, about teaching people, but it also has plenty of good things going for it. So, you know, which is why I, which is why I bought it. And you know, this might even be the time that I make my own exhaust. Um, maybe not as in depth and amazingly good as the likes of uh, Re Motorcycled on, on YouTube. I'm gonna leave a description in the a link in the description room because that guy is incredible and I really love what he's doing. So um, yeah, go look him up. But you know, overall, I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with how how the bike turned up. It it runs, it runs, and for the price I paid for it, that's that's about all I can expect, really. So, um, you know, like I said, you'll see more in the walk around. But this is it. This is the overall view of the CB500. This is going to be on the channel for the foreseeable future as well. Uh, hopefully, very much changed from this. I don't know if I'm going to leave this on it or anything like that, but. Time will tell, time will tell. We need to check is a boo approved. I'm sorry, I know you were lying in the sun. What do you think of this? Hmm? Do you like it? She likes it. This is, <laughs> this is her begging me to get off it. She likes it so much. Yeah. Boodle approved. You right? Okay, so now that introductions are over, this is in fact the CB500. Uh, it's, it's actually really fun. No, we don't have a front-facing camera and then rigged up on this bike yet, but that doesn't matter because this is the first ride. We're just we're just getting out on the little CB that could. Like I said, there is plenty to be done on this bike. You know, um, the the massively leaking exhaust is a is a genuine issue, but it actually rides okay. Um, I'm just not going to, you know, I'm, I'm literally just doing this today, and then I'll probably. That'll probably be the last time it gets properly ridden until that exhaust can be fixed. Because, um, you know, the mix is going to be off completely and I don't want to damage the bike. Hey, right, like I said though, it rides fine. So the suspension, ooh, feels okay. Um, question marks over the tires that are on there. The power is down. I'm assuming because of, uh, again, that exhaust leak, that massive, massive exhaust leak. Uh, but again, nothing, nothing too drastically terrible. Uh, the brakes are actually pretty good. Uh, the caliber was rebuilt just before I bought it. And there's a new braided brake line on it. It is yellow. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the, the brake line being yellow, but uh, it'll do for now. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you very much. I don't want to die, not in the CB500. Um, what else? So yeah, the, the first things first is the uh, oh, the exhaust needs to be done in a major way. The exhaust is bad. Uh, the clutch pull feels strange. It's uh, pretty stiff. So I already oiled up the cable a bit, uh, but it's still off to it's off cocked to one side. So I'm gonna have to check that and maybe change the cable. Um, I don't like the bars. The bars feel like they were astoundingly cheap <laughs> and they creak under me so they're gonna probably be changed in the future they're okay for now uh, particularly with toaster because if she drops it um, you know when she's learning and I don't know that I mentioned that yet but this bike is primarily to teach toaster how to ride bikes and you know other things to be done with it then but it's actually a really cool little bike and I fit on it okay so the fact that I fit on it okay says a lot you know it, uh, <laughs> you know, it's 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 a cheap bike. That's what it is. You know, I'm not I'm not expecting miracles for what I paid for this. And to be honest, the fact it works as good as it does what I paid for it, I am pretty happy with. So what did I pay for this bike? Uh, about a thousand euro, and that'll tell you, you know, that you can do this this too. Really, like this bike is a thousand euro. I can jump up on it straight away and ride it. There's no reason you couldn't go off and have an adventure on this, even for someone my size. So, you know, if you're looking for something, you know, a little bit cheaper, keep an eye out for a, a rough CB500 because it, it, it is rough. Uh, we'll go through that when we stop. 
Uh, the other thing about this bike is the mirrors are absolutely shocking. I actually, I can't, I can't use them. Um, I, they're not the originals and they're the complete wrong angle for the bike and cannot be re-angled to work for the bike, so they have to come off too. They're, they're awful. <laughs> actually the worst things ever. But anyway, like, it's actually for a thousand euro, it's a very agile little thing. Like I said, nothing, nothing you're going to write home about. But it's fun. It's fun and it works. And you can fairly rip on it in fairness for a, a small bike. You know, it rips. Okay, like 60 miles an hour and you know how fast I'm willing to push it. Is kind of its maximum. I don't, oh yeah, okay. The indicator light does work. It's just kind of crap. I don't know, if, if someone wants, I never accept I can't afford it as an excuse to be honest for bikes because if you really want to ride bikes um, you know you can get one of these something like this this works fine and this will get you started you know what I mean this will get you going to where you need to go It'll, you, you, you don't need to have an R1 for your first bike you don't need to have something that costs five six seven thousand euro for your first bike yes I started on a more expensive phaser that's just how life worked out for me, you know, at the time, but if I had to, if I, if I lost all my money tomorrow, if something really bad happened to me and I was left with only this bike, it's still a bike and I am perfectly, perfectly happy. Ripping around on this little thing, you know, it's fun, it's fun. It's similar to the Magna in a way that it's not so fast that you're going to get yourself into lots of trouble really quick. Uh, this is my 1000 euro bike, do everything bike. I, I actually genuinely could happily use this every day. Uh, maybe not for super long distances, just that's more my weight than my size, but it works and it was 1000 euro. <laughs> Can't really complain too much there, huh? Oh, emergency stop test works good. So yeah, it stops, it stops quickly. This is where I wanted to come. I knew this was here. Okay, so there's a bit too much, a little bit too much squash on that under braking. So that probably needs a bit of a bleed as well. But whoever did it, did a good job. You know, previous owner, well done. Um, the brakes work. They do, they do work. I can't complain there. Um, so that's, that is it. That's the CB500. Um, like I said, stuff to do. It's, look, this is, this is, crap they're crap this is awful um yes i'm just going to keep kicking the things and disrespect <laughs> disrespecting them um shut up phone one second i gotta put this thing on vibrate i have question marks over the radiator but it actually looks okay i, I don't know the first day i saw it, it was raining so i didn't really get in underneath it and it's going to rain again on me soon today but anyway um i'm probably going to take off these plastics or at least change that because it's horrible <laughs> <laughs> these have to go uh, I don't like the bars they're just a bit flimsy feeling but other than that it is a complete functioning bike for a thousand euro can't really complain the only thing I will say the only thing I will say is what would you all like to see this being built to I'll talk about it more in a few minutes when we're when we're back at home um, but what would you like to see that's you know that's it like look there's a couple of things like it's been dropped who cares you know what I mean who cares if you're buying a bike for a thousand euro you want to get in a bike it's, it's a thousand euro, you know what I mean? What are you going to get for that? Yeah, you know? CB500, these things, these engines are known to go forever and, and there's parts for them, you know? If I need to change any bit of this if, or the whole engine, it's affordable. I can do it. I can do it. It's, a, it's not like the Jigsaw that every small bit is insane money, you know what I mean? Oh, like I got a good front brake, a braided brake line, a decent tank that does need to be painted. So also let me know what color you'd like to see the can, the tank go, because I'm probably going to rattle can it for now. I would like to take all these side color covers and plastics off and stuff and put a nice flat seat on it. To be honest, yeah, I'd, I'd like to cafe it, to, to be honest. I think it'd be a cool cafe. Um, once, obviously, Toaster has learned to ride, because it wouldn't be fair to throw her in a cafe first. Because this ugly, this ugly, this ugly, and then put pod filters on it. But yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. So what's coming up is we'll clean the carbs and we'll get this thing back going. But for now, time to head home. Anyway. Before I forget, 
Uh, the plan as well on the channel is to always have a kind of a an ongoing project so at the moment it's going to be this one and also you know the jigsaw um uh, so what would you like to see next like i planned on buying you know i mentioned uh, and i was going to do a video on it i planned on buying a harley i thought i had a a reasonably good deal oh rain's coming i thought i had a reasonably good deal hooked up on a harley that needed work but unfortunately it didn't materialize uh, the person the person decided to keep the bike so well, look that's fair enough um, I will have a Harley in the shed at some point but you know at, at the moment what I'm going to try to do and obviously this bike isn't going to be for sale anytime soon I probably will eventually sell it um, when Toaster wants to upgrade and when I'm finished doing what I want to do to it so yeah what would you like to see next what's what's the next project the Magna is a long term one uh, this is a hopefully, hopefully fairly short term one and the Jigsaw is going to be on the road uh, hopefully pretty soon hopefully pretty soon so let me know what you'd like to see otherwise I hope you're happy to see this on the channel I hope that uh, you know I hope that you're looking forward to seeing what we do with it and it's actually a really nice day it's really cold I'm freezing <laughs> but uh yeah, it turned into a nice day, well, after all. It was raining on and off. Oh, that's leafy. I hate leaves. Leaves! I should mention as well, before I got in this bike and went ripping on it, I did give it a once-over safety check. You know, I made sure brakes were working, I made sure wheels were aligned, I made sure tires were pumped up, I made sure the chain was the right tightness. Now, very important to do if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a bike to rough like this and just, and just take it for a blast. Um, do you know do make sure the basics are right that's that's important so don't you know don't just assume that I jumped on a 1000 euro motorcycle and just took it for a rip because I didn't I did check it over I did and I did make sure that you know it wasn't gonna it wasn't going to kill me or you know it wasn't there was nothing immediately obvious that was going to kill me anyway and lastly this is not a first ride because i think it would be unfair to do a cb500 first ride uh with a bike that's in this condition i'm gonna fix it up and then we'll do a first ride but first impressions pretty pretty damn good if you're tall and you're looking for a cheap bike cb500 well well impressed particularly the carb version because it has a lovely throttle response anyway now now actually back to the house it's a third Honda, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I will get another manufacturer at some point. It's just, these CB500s are such good quality and they're so cheap for what they are and they're endlessly buildable onable and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with this. Um, lots of cleaning to be done, like I said, on, on the road and earlier and stuff. So uh, I won't hold you long, but let me know in the comments, are you excited to see what happens with this? Um, first and foremost, it is going to be used as an educational piece because if it gets hopped off the ground, I don't really care, I can fix it. Um, I like the wheels. I, I don't like the bars, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway. Yeah, let me know, are you excited to see what we do with this? Um, there you go, that's it really. That's, this, is, this is the new bike, so if you've watched, thanks for watching. Um, you know, if you're if you're excited to see what's to come with this bike, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, the like button is optional, but I do appreciate it as well. As always, a very special thanks to my patrons. I know you've known about this for a while, and you've known about my plans for a while to, to, to teach people, mainly toaster. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this getting this um, work done and working. So yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So thanks, patrons. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Until next time, adios. Outro crew, what do you think? What do you think? What way should I go with this? I'm thinking, I'm thinking like some form of cafe racer, but a cafe racer, you know, sized for a large gorilla. It uh, doesn't have to just be, uh, you know, a normal cafe racer. It can be a gorilla cafe racer. And the best part is, the best part is there's a dog here. Hello, dog. This is Boo, she is nice. But the best part is I have storage for things. Look at this. You can store like stuff in here. That's the only thing that is making me think maybe I shouldn't cafe racer, the fact I have storage in the fairing. I'm joking, I'm joking. This, this fairing is, it's just, it's not great, is it? It's not great. Anyway, bye.